So apparently it's been like that, and I just was completely blind to it. Um, that's really frustrating. So I have this super huge scratch on her eye. Holy cow. Well, if that didn't submit, then I'm going to resubmit with with this be too, because that's not, that's not good. Her eye is all scratched up. It's okay. It's just black, so I should be able to fix that anyway. Um, but she still has beautiful makeup on. All right. Now she has this neck collar right here, this piece here, probably supposed to go on a little bit more over the blue, but I didn't feel like fighting with it. Um, she does have these shoulder pads, which are attached to the sleeves, um, but they do slide around a little bit so you just gotta set them in the right spot we have this fake zipper here on the front um i think they're plastic um fake suspenders and then we get to her belt and these have real chains on them they do jingle around and then she has her suit on underneath so she has one leg and then cheetah print and then one leg with the fishnets and then these slide up. They don't slide up very well. Um, especially, clearly on this side, it did not go all the way up. But then, from looking at the picture, I don't know that they're supposed to necessarily go all the way up. I think maybe they're supposed to be scrunched down. But, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, and then, I didn't feel like trying to tie them, but you're supposed to tie these into little bows. And then her shoes which you can't really see because of the stock socks, but she has these blue cheetah print shoes with gold heels. I don't, I'm not super fan of the L, how the LOLs do high heels where they just, they don't do any gaps. So they all kind of look like they're heelless high heels, but that's definitely what the Gaga ones are supposed to be. Sorry, trying to get her back on her stand. Or the fame queen ones definitely are supposed to be all right and then she has this bass guitar um and it has it continues the motif with all the chains and the red cheetah print and again i don't have it turned on right now but it did make music earlier same thing i did with her i took her off from the elbow i did not take her off from the hand um to try and protect that golden hand um she, so I put the cuff down, elbow down on this side, and then this side her normal hand popped off just fine. So I just slid it up her wrist for the um, these because they are separate pieces from the jacket, as you can see. So there's the jacket, and then the cuff is separate. Um, I think that's everything on her. They all come on the exact same clear stand, um, but I think one of them has a wider waist hugger. I don't know. Um, and then we go down a little bit more. We have our little sister. Her little sister's guitar is pretty similar, um, except it's rounded instead of having the, like, pointed ends. Um, so I'm not sure. I think she's still the bass player, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, she has a cheetah print outfit with the little cheetah print boots with the red bottoms. Um... She has one little golden bracelet over here. She has also gold eye makeup. Thankfully her eye isn't scratched up too much. Um, and then she has brown with these like gold, almost like chain accents, but I think they're just supposed to be little braids, but they kind of look like chains in the camera. But I think they're just little braids, which is super cool. I love that she, like it's raised and textured and everything. I know it's just molded, but I still think that's really cool. Uh, she also has the brown lipstick, which, I don't know, I just love it. Let's see, and then, next we have Metal Chick. I just, I can't get over this, it's like pink and black, half and half aesthetic. I just, I can't get over it. Now I will say her headband doesn't fit on very well, and neither does her sunglasses. See, um, but honestly, neither of those things surprise me too much. Uh, we're going to take the sunglasses off. I love them though, because they're bat sunglasses, kind of look like bats. And like, I, I always like sunglasses like this. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention on um, Ferocious and Fierce. Fierce has these little like coffee cup with the cheetah prints. For, they come with a red hairbrush and then a blue and red hair. All right, now we're actually on to Metal Chick. Yes, Metal Chick. Um, so I love this broken heart up here on her spiderweb headband. Like, I live for this. I wish I had something like this. This is, I live for this. Um, then she has this pink and black hair. And like I said, it's all braided, which is super cool. Um, she has just basic kind of like pointy stud earrings. And then she has these little florals. These are super, um, super gelled, but everything else has been pretty, very, very lightly gelled, if anything at all, in the rest of their hairs, because they're not where they have to be, like, visible in the box, so they don't have to have a lot of gel. But this, this right here, because it is styled, is very hard gel, so that it curves under her eyes. Um, I love the over exaggerated eyelashes. I think that's super fun, with the bright pink eyes, and she has black eyebrows on both sides. Okay, um, this top actually wasn't as hard to get on as I thought it was going to be. I probably should have done this without their instruments on. Uh, let me see if I can pop hers off, because hers is giant. Like, I literally can't even move it out of the way to show you the details. Alright. So, I like the, um, the t-shirt that she had on underneath, because you can't, like, even in her art it doesn't look like that so I think it's super cool um I love that it says supersonic so it has like the name of their band on it so I'm trying to move her closer um it has the name of their band on it I love this like plastic corset she has um it continues around the back with the pink um fake pink ribboning for the tightening back here um, she did have little pink puffy sleeves that match this right here, um, but they are covered up by the coat. I don't think I'm going to keep the coat on her, honestly. I think I like her better without it, but it wasn't as hard to put on as I thought it was going to. But it does kind of restrict her arms just a little bit, but not a super lot. Um, and then she has this pink fluffy skirt with the little, like... I know the name of it. It's something with a G, but it's escaping me right now. But I call it like picnic pattern, where it has that little like pink and white checkerboard. Um, and then we go down to her shoes. She had this. She has spider leggings on, so they're black, but they have the like darker black lines through them, so look like spider webs. And then she has a pink boot with black lacing and a black boot with pink lacing. Um, she. I don't have a Draculaura, I've always wanted a Draculaura, and she gives me absolute Draculaura vibes in the best possible way. I love her so much. All right, so that is Metal Chick, and then we have Metal Babe, so their names are very similar. Um, she's supposed to have this necklace. It's really big, and it keeps kind of falling off of her, um, but I love her, like, heart guitar, which, so there's the big guitar with the double necks, and then um, this little like broken heart motif down here and then like the stitch together motif. I love that. And again, she has like kind of like pink on one side and black on the other. And then her little sister's guitar is also pink with a little bit of black here on the side. Um, it doesn't seem to, oh no, it does. Okay, it does have the broken heart motif. If you look closely, there's a little crack across it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Then we have little babe. Like I said, the necklace doesn't fit very well, but I do like her, her shirt says baby. I think that's cute. Um, she has a half pink, half black shorts with a black spot on this side, but no pink spot on this side. Um, and then her little fake pockets in the back. She comes with two wrist cuffs, one um, with the black and then the pink tips at the end. And she comes with one black boot and one pink boot. And again, those she has fishnets that are look like ripped fishnets, but those are um, painted onto her legs. Um, unlike her big sis, she actually has opposite eyebrows, so her pink eyebrow over under the pink hair and the black eyebrow under the black hair. Um, she has little blushings. She has black lipstick, so does her big sister. Um, 
they do have their hair on the same side. I kind of would have liked to have seen it like flipped or like one has pink on this side, one has pink on the other side, but I don't know how much, like they call them little sisses, but at the same time, it's almost like it's supposed to be like the same character. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, I like her undercut. So there she is. Um, her bottle is that little black bottle with the, the missing kitty on it, where it says, have you seen Mio? I think that's really funny. Um, it's black and pink, squishy. They're supposed to do something with water. Um, OMG, pink hairbrush, and then a pink, or black and a pink hanger. I mean, again, maybe there's some sort of like playset or something that like you would want to use these in. I don't know, I don't have it, I haven't seen it. Um, but in my opinion, I wish that maybe we'd only done like maybe one hairbrush for the whole set instead of each individual hairbrush and maybe not done the hangers. Um, just cause it's a lot of wasted plastic that's gonna go, at least for me, nowhere. Um, and again, I know they're not intended for me, but I really just don't see the play value in some hangers for some outfits that were not intended to come off. Cause it's not like they have secondary fashions, which is why I like the rainbow high dolls when they come with them, because they have secondary fashions, So they have a reason to have hangers. This would just leave the dolls nude. Now I know a lot of them, most of them have outfits underneath that could be worn without it. So I guess maybe that's why. Um, and again, I just, maybe if you're splitting the setup four ways and each person gets their own doll, but other than that, I can't see a reason to need four hairbrushes in one set, especially again, because I think only two of them really have hair that you can brush because I would not brush her hair or her hair. All right. Last, but certainly not least, bad girl, again, with that H. Now, one of the things I want to point out before, because I know I'm skipping ahead, but her rings that she has, first of all, are awesome. But second of all, this is why she has them. So her drumsticks will actually, so see how the ring goes all the way through her hand? You can actually pop this ring out and then put the drumsticks in from the other side and then that way she can hold the drumsticks. I don't want to do that because I don't want to lose the rings. But anyway, yeah. I just thought that was so cool. I had to point that out. Um, I realized that I did not point out her nails and she has pink and black nails. And then she has gold nails on the hand. Oh, on the hand that's not metallic. She also has the same metallic gold. Kind of like how the other one had the silver hand and then the matching silver nails on the other side. All right. I know it didn't focus, but it's close enough. Oof. Get on your stand. All right, so she has this gold um, piece in her ponytail. It doesn't stay on very well. It's super loose and it keeps feeling like it, like this here, there's a bump because it keeps getting caught in her hair and pulling it. So I'm probably gonna have to take it down and put it back up, um, kind of like I did with my um, Heather Grayson. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the black and green, that was him laughing. That was not a fart, but it sounded like one, but that was him laughing. Um, I like her black bangs, and she has this super neon green here in her ponytail. Um, again, with that black mixed into it. I just love this, like, neon green. I don't love that they did this to her hair, though. Um, I like her glasses. They said bad girl, just like, you know, that's actually how it's spelled. That is her name is bad girl. Um, she has this choker with the little rings. Um, her vest, again, keeps shedding studs, but you can't really see them anyway. I'm not really concerned about that. That's just glue wearing out. Um, let's take off her glasses so we can see. Oh my gosh, I just noticed her eyebrows with the like caution tape black and green alternating. That's so cool. And then she has black, green, and gray eyeshadow with her to go with her gray eyes. Now, I don't know if this like pink here in the middle is intentional or not. It feels kind of off, but I, and it's not in her art, but like it also looks like paint. It doesn't look like it's missing paint. It looks like it was intentionally painted with that pink like gap in the center. Um, she kind of looks like a Littles because she looks like she should have like something in her mouth. I don't know. 
Um, there's a clear vest. I do like it. I just think they should have done without the studs so that we didn't keep knocking the studs off. Um, I like the studding here on the outside. See, there goes another one. Um, like here, I like this, but I don't, I don't like these, these little plastic studs that keep just falling off. I'm not going to knock them off though. Uh, this right here, this black part, I wasn't sure if it, where it was, how exactly they wanted to put it on. It almost felt like you're supposed to put it on without the vest, but her, it's also supposed to be a vest so that these can be her sleeves. Um, but this is the harness so that she can hold the drum set. It just clips right in and it has this little heart buckle right here. I like that you can still see her mesh top. Um, again, these do all play different things. Um, and then she has her, I think it's called a hi-hat. Um, that you can, it doesn't do anything, but it's on there, which is cool. Um, then she has her little leather skirt with, again, that chaining detail off the side and this big ring that all the things are coming to. I like the, like, stripey motif in there. It matches with the paper that she came in. Um, this was really hard to get on, especially because you have to put that on before you put on the leggings and the shoes, which I did not know. So I put them on and then I had to take them off because I assumed it would be Velcro here in the back, but it's not. It's just stretchy elastic. Um, but there are her drum sticks. And like I said, those can come off and stick into her hand. Um, the fuzzy, I like the fuzzy leg warmers, but they were also pretty hard to get on. As you can see, they don't fit quite right. Um, but I probably just need to zhuzh a little bit more and then they'll fit fine. Um, I also, I just don't understand why. <sighs> Hold on. All right. So if we lift up these a little bit, because you have to put these on first and then put on our shoes. On our shoes is this like extra rubber piece, which confused me as it was when I was unboxing, but like, why? Because you literally can't see it. So it's just extra like rubbery plastic and just an extra thing you have to put on because you have to put these on first, then essentially you have to put that rubber on and then you have to put the boots on and then slide that down and then slide this over it. But you literally can't see her shoes. And it's supposed to be like that too. Like, look at her artwork. You can see her shoes, you can see her shoes, you can see her shoes. You can't see her shoes because the leg warmers are supposed to cover up her shoes. Okay, I like her artwork better because where is all that warning tape on her skirt? Did they not do it because it's covered up by the drum? Like, that was half of why I liked that doll was because of that, like, aesthetic on her body, but she doesn't actually really have it anywhere except for this caution tape right here on the side. That's weird. Okay, I still like her. I still like her. I, I do. But it's just weird that that detail isn't there. So. Let's kind of... Oh, wait. Before I do that, let's go over her little sister. Um, so this is just Batty. Um, she has the little symbols, which I kind of think it's funny. They have these little, like, crack details in them, which is intentional. Um, they're supposed to look cracked. I think it's cute. I love her hair. I love how she has this, like, little victory roll, and then it goes into this little ponytail. Like, I just love her hair. Um, her pants were the hardest, hardest things to get on. I actually was so hard to get on that I ended up knocking off one of her earrings and losing those for a hot minute, but I did find those. So we're still down to just missing one shoe. Um, I like her little ripped tights that she has painted on. Um, I like her little green shoes. Honestly, I think she might be my favorite littles. Like even, yeah, no, she's definitely my favorite littles for sure. Um, again, she also though has one of those rubber necklaces. Hers fits a lot better than um, hers does. Because see, look, it's already falling off. It's like huge. It's like it's supposed to go on the full-size doll. But if you look at the picture, it definitely belongs to Metal Babe and not to Metal Girl. Um, but so, favorite little, definitely. Uh, she also has a little beauty mark. So let me just go ahead and give you my closing remarks. Um, so, despite the fact that this is missing and there's a scratch in her eye, I love this set. Those are literally my only two complaints. Um, 
I was able to get her to stand up um, without having to, <laughs> by using the hairbrush, I literally like made her straddle sit it um, and then I got her in. So I was able to get her on to, to stand up for the clip that you're going to see at the very end as part of like my doll photography that I usually clip into the end. Um, yeah, hopefully I will be able to get a hold of them and get that shoe replaced and maybe her, uh, her replaced as well. We'll see. Honestly, like, again, I didn't spend a lot of money on them and I love her. I love her, love, love, love her. But she was the, like, least priority kind of thing. Um, I would say one, two, three, four, priority order. Nothing personally about the doll, just my personal aesthetics. That, like, that's my order of, like, how important they are to me. So, like, of all the dolls to have problems, yes, I'm upset that it's her because she's the only one that doesn't have glasses. So she has no way to cover it up. But of importance to me, again, not as concerned about it. That's probably why it took so long to notice it. Like, if it had been a problem on her eye, I probably would have noticed it, like, immediately. Um... But yeah, obviously, like, nothing's perfect. Um, I think I forgot to show this. A little black and white. A little goo sticking out. Very Beetlejuice-esque. Um, black and green hangers. Black hairbrush. Wait. Yeah, because she was the one that was last originally. I moved them around um, to match this for the next clip. Um, but yeah, so my overall thoughts is I like them. I like them a lot. I think it's a great pack. I think it was a lot of fun to open. Um, other than the fact that I wish that there was something to note that those boxes were supposed to be empty. I guess you kind of should have noticed because there was no numbers on them. So where I got confused was, well, this still works anyway. So where I got confused to see how this says 34 and 51, that's indicating that this box is itself the whole box that holds both dolls and all their accessories is 34 and the whole box including these dolls and their accessories is 51. I thought the little cardboard box on top of that was 34 and 51 but it's not it was just this whole box which also explains my confusion as to why there was a number on the outside that was different than the number on the inside so I should have been paying attention to that number on the outside which as you guys saw I noticed but I didn't realize that's what it was so there goes my light. All right, so overall, my overall thoughts is I love them. I think they look really great together. Um, they're definitely going to, have, I'm going to find a nice spot for them to hang out together. I definitely don't think these are going to be dolls that I'm going to be playing with. I think they're just going to be display dolls. They probably will make appearances during other LLOMG openings, just like my Rainbow High dolls make appearances during the other ones. And again, we have our spicy and moonlight bb which they originally come with bffs i didn't buy their bffs but instead these are my my lesbian lol dolls because they're my dolls and i can do what i want with them and that's what i chose to do with them and we need more representation anyway so if you don't like it i'm sorry but that's how it is all right so these are my new girls i definitely love them i'm very happy with them um glad i didn't spend the whole amount on them just because that's a lot of money but without the flaws and if we, she had both shoes I would definitely say that it's worth the full amount of money um so definitely make sure that if you do spend the full amount of money that you 100% get in contact with them and get these issues fixed um but other than that I really do love the set I love that it has the littles I don't intend to really collect too many of the littles um but I do kind of like um, having the little sisters that go with the ones that I have. I definitely 100% will not be collecting little sisters for dolls that I don't have. So I don't expect to be collecting them in the mystery packs because that makes it so that I don't have, that I have little sisters that I don't have big sisters for. And I'm not going to buy big sisters to go with the little sisters. I don't mind buying little sisters to go with the big sisters, but I definitely won't, don't want to do it the other way around. I probably shouldn't have said that in a video because I've said things like that before and then completely changed my mind. Um, so you never know. You never know what's going to happen. 
I will say again, one more time, overall, I love them, even with the flaws that they have. I still think it's a lot of fun. It's a good set. It's a good gift. It's really big. It's really cool. I love the, um, I love the stereo. I'm really gonna have to find a way to keep it because originally, again, I was like, oh, it's a big box, but I'm just getting rid of it. But when I opened it and it was a stereo, I'm gonna have to figure out something for it. So anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you for sticking with me through this disaster. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of them. If you think they're worth them, do you have them? Do you want them? Are they on your list? Are you gonna be buying them individually? anything like that. Um, also that stack of paper over there was me going through every, from me going through every single piece of paper and every single baggie and everything, trying to see if I could find the shoe because I really wanted it to be there. Um, and I even went back and watched my footage and like made sure that it didn't like drop out of the bag or something while I wasn't paying attention. Like I, did everything I could to find it so it's definitely not here and if I don't get it I'll just have to to get shoes for her somewhere somehow um but yeah especially because she's like my second favorite BB because I love this hair um I still think she's my favorite though but she's my second favorite which is why it's really bummer that she's in her shoes but I'm gonna get off of that now we're gonna move on we're gonna enjoy the dolls that we do have instead of worrying about the things that we don't have and um yeah I will see you guys all next week.